Joined now by head coach Russell Turner, 88-82, our final Long Beach State, getting the win over UC Irvine. And coach, very entertaining college basketball game for anybody watching this. Uh, really a back and forth battle. You had a sense it was going to come down to the wire the entire game. A you know, very tough loss for your team. Again, they've had several of these coming down to the final minutes. Where they haven't been able to pull it out. Just some of your initial thoughts after this battle between rivals. Well, I agree that it was a great game. Um, I'm sure it was fun to watch. It uh, was not as much fun uh, from our end, clearly. You know, I give Long Beach credit. They, you know, had an outstanding performance to beat us. Right. Um, but I'm frustrated, I'll be honest, at this moment with our, our team's inability uh, to defend Long Beach better. Um, specifically, I'm frustrated with our inability to defend the three. You know, we uh, focused on that as one of the top priorities for our game plan, and we were unable to do it. And uh, you're right, we've had some close losses, I believe, in the ability and uh, of our team to win close games. But I don't think we will be able to expect to do that if we can't be better focused with our intensity on the things that we make priorities to do. You know, that's been our team's surprising weakness to this point. And I don't think that's because we have guys who are unable to do that. I think it's because we've not done it. And uh, that's a problem that I've got to find a way to fix my staff and I, along with our players, because we had great fan support tonight. Um, this community expects us to perform, and it's not good enough to put on a good show. Right. And, you know, it's not like we should expect to just beat Long Beach. They're a good team. Um, but we've got to perform, and, and it's time that we step forward and perform better. You mentioned Long Beach's three-point shooting. They go 12 of 24 from the outside, a big factor in this one. I think the Riverside game two nights from now, nice that it's such a quick turnaround so you guys can try to focus on the Highlanders after another gut-wrenching loss because to, to take a loss like this, it's nice to get back on the floor as quick as possible, I would think. Yeah, that's probably right. I mean, I don't want to dwell on this loss, but, uh, you know, Riverside, I don't know if they won tonight, but they're they're a team that's played well. And, uh, you know, what I worry about is with this team, you know, I, I feel like we have a more mature team in some ways because we're older. But tonight I thought that the energy was really good. Right. But we didn't show a solid enough ability to, you know, focus that energy on executing. And um, this team should be better at that. And, and our staff's got to figure out a way to make this team – better at that um, I'm not sure if our messages aren't being delivered clearly enough or if we're not attentive I believe it's probably a combination somehow of both and so we've got to own the fact that we've not been able to perform at the level that I expect and we've got to keep our demands high on being better right coach thanks for taking some time with us we'll see you on Saturday thank you